today I want to show you how we make complex shapes using PVC pipe. So it used to be when we wanted to bend PVC pipe, we had to do it the hard way, which was either with a heat gun or we had to fill it with uh, hot sand, which was very cumbersome and very messy. So this is a cool tool that we got from pvcbendit.com. No, they did not pay me to say that, but it's really cool, you can get yours too. The process is really super simple. So the process is this. We take the conduit, put it in the pipe, Once we have it through to where the pipe will heat up, and then it goes into the oven, just like your banana bread. So what these do, these help insulate the pipe so that the heat doesn't escape and does its job in making the pipe soft. Now what happens is we leave it in here for about four minutes, and then we rotate it and leave it about another four minutes. So what do we do while we wait for it to heat up? We dance, of course! We're going to check it and see if it is ready to bend. And what we're looking for is to see if it's at the wet noodle stage. And I'll show you what that is in just a minute. But first, we're going to check it and see if it's soft. And what I do is just pull this off. And this is not quite soft enough to bend yet. So then we're going to rotate it so that we get some even coverage. Rotate it about halfway. Put the oven back on. And now we'll set it for another four minutes and see what happens. Let's just see what's happening here. Okay, we're not quite. You can see here, you can see it's starting to be pliable, that we can bend it. So we're gonna let it heat one more time. We're gonna give it another little rotation, and then it'll be ready to bend. So what do we do? Of course, we dance! Okay, so now we're ready to put this into our form. It should be pliable and at the wet noodle stage. So I'll show you what that means. We'll undo it, take the ovens off, and pull it out the end. And you can see now, you see how it is wavy and pliable? That is the wet noodle stage. So it's at this point that we're now we can do with it what we want to do. So I've got my form preset over here. And uh, this is just a piece of a drainage pipe that I've cut open and I can screw it down into whatever form I want and then this allows me to bend my shapes. So we stick it in there and now it will hold that shape while it cools down. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to ply it with cold water and probably some cold air just to try and get things done. So we're just going to take it through here and cool it off and then once it's cool, then it will hold its shape. All right, another way that we can cool it down is to blow cold air on it, you know, kind of like your hair dryer, but on the cold setting. And we do this. Oh wait, wrong thing, here we go. Oh wait, that felt really good. After all that dancing. Okay, here we go. So usually I'll do this. I also want to put it in the end because that will help blow the air out from the inside and cool it from the inside out again. All right, then it's ready for more water. Once again, the water just draws the heat out, it makes it an exothermic process. Kids, if you don't know what that is, look it up. Okay, so now we have it cooled down, and I'll show you, I can take off my gloves, and this is cold enough now that I can touch it with my hands. Now you can see as we pull it out, now it holds its shape. And now it's ready for me to move to the next stage of the process, which will either be putting it into whatever I am building, or I can cut it in half or cut it up and make moldings out of it. There are lots of different things that I can do with it at this point. It just depends on what's next. So right now, that's how we bend a pipe to make it look like something else that's complex. The thing that's really cool about this is if I had to go someplace and actually have wood carved into this shape, it would be thousands of dollars and it would take way too much time. It would be more budget than I have for a show. So by doing it this way, I have something quick and easy, but it's also pliable so that I can do with it what I need to do. And of course, after we're all done, what do we do? We dance and there's leftover water, so we dance All 
Awesome, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that you'll follow us at Sandy Arts Guild or on sandyarts.com and, of course, at hashtag done to white way.